How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to another episode of Siege Strats, a series where I give beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. Following the Twitter vote last week, this video we are exploring the recently reworked Café Dostoevsky. A lot of the map stayed the same from the original aside from the lower floor and that's why this video will be focusing on the kitchen service site of Café. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening this wall, the west wall into kitchen cooking and planting behind the counter. There is going to be a lot of vertical play in this strategy, so let's take a look at how to prepare the map for this push. Once again, there are three key operators for this attack. You'll need a hard breacher to open the west wall into sight, thermite. As mentioned, there is going to be a tremendous amount of vertical play to attack this site, so I'm going to recommend taking both sledge and buck. This way you have more than enough destruction to open plenty of the ceiling above and hold multiple angles. The first thing you need to do is clear out the top and middle floors. Your main focus is going to be on the mining and train rooms on the second floor, so you need to ensure you aren't going to be flanked and give away easy kills. Make sure you drone effectively to work with your team to clear any roamers, checking every corner and allowing yourself a clean entry above site. Once inside, you need to open quite a few important areas of the floor in order to protect your thermite. This area of the floor next to the trains opens into the prep room forcing anybody sitting or pushing through here into a difficult position and denying the south flank on Thermite when he is using his exothermic charge. The other main flank that can affect Thermite is on the north side in Small Bakery. While you can't open the roof in Small Bakery, you can open the red stairs landing and look down into the red corridor. This way anybody trying to push Thermite from the north side will be an easy pick. This also allows you to defend your own position on 2F from the red stairs side. Next you want to start opening up the mining room floor to look down into kitchen cooking. This will clear the areas behind the counters where you are going to need to plant. Opening this floor also allows you to shoot any Kaid claws or bandit batteries to allow thermite to breach with ease. Additionally if you are able to open this floor and the top section of the east wall which you can still open even if it's reinforced, you can create a really strong angle in behind the service counter to shoot anybody holding there and can even bounce a frag grenade off the crossbeam or top of the reinforcement for an easy kill on someone hiding there. Now that you have the flanks held down and the site control prepped, it's time for the execute. You need Thermite to use his exothermic charges to open the left panel of the west wall into kitchen from bakery. With the flanks held down this should be a very simple job as there is little to no threat here aside from someone possibly hiding in small bakery, but they can be very easy to clear out. Once the wall is open, have someone give you some covering crossfire so you can sprint in and crouch behind the counter. From here you cannot be seen from almost the entirety of the kitchen unless they push up on you. You should have enough angles covered to stop this from happening however. One spot you can be vulnerable from is the wall in front of the service counter, so be mindful of this although it is common for this wall to be reinforced. With this plant spot being so strong from almost the entire kitchen, it should be very easy to stick the plant behind this counter and then you're ready for what should be a simple post plant. Once you have the diffuser down, it can be held very easily from several very strong positions. You can hold from behind the bakery counters as they are bulletproof, and you would need to peek in order to give them the kill. You can also hold from behind the bakery door outside, but if they manage to long arm the diffuser, you may struggle to get the kill on them from there. But do you remember all that vertical play we established? Because what you do have is a very strong angle above that will look right down onto the diffuser. All of these potential angles should give you a very easy kill and round win. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any additions to this strategy or any comments about how effective it was for you, please feel free to leave a comment below, and of course like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Don't forget to follow on Twitter as well, with the link in the comments to vote on the next poll on which site to cover next. Now go and win some rounds, and I'll see you in the next one.